My name is Jill Motzko. I, I teach here at UNC. I see most of you every day, which is great. My pleasure. Um, but very rarely do I get to speak on my actual research, um, uh, which is fun. So uh, today I will be presenting on my research. Most of, or all of this today is what I have done so far at MIT, my PhD work um, that I've been finishing up a little bit over the last semester and will be continuing here. So in the last slide or so, I'll be discussing my hopes and plans for what I plan to do here at ENC. Um, yes, yeah, so today I will be speaking on vapor processed organic photovoltaics specifically. Um, a PhD is meant to be in something very focused and very specific and you become the world's expert on something that's so, spe so specific it usually doesn't matter to anyone. <laughs> um, but very specifically I worked on vapor pro processed organic photovoltaics uh, with the ultimate goal of efficient solar energy conversion from any surface. Um, I would like to thank, of course, my funding sponsors. They're on the top right from NSF and ENI uh, for their generous funding. So to start off with motivation here, um, a number that still astounds me today is that if you could see it, uh, more than one and a half billion people in the world live without any electricity at all. They have no electricity whatsoever. That's 20% of the world's population which is really an astounding number when you think about how useful electricity is and how we just take it for granted. Uh, and how when the power goes out for some thousands of people due to the blizzard, we're all shocked and we feel really bad for them because it gets very cold. Um, so that's how much electricity is important for us. Um, and a little bit of electricity can make a difference. Uh, so this is from a project from Panasonic that they just gave out these solar powered LED lamps and uh, you can see here the students studying at night. It's shown that um, their grades and their knowledge will go up if they actually have electricity so that they can study at night. Um, you can work at night, you can have medical procedures at night. Um, so even just a little bit of electricity that will power lighting um, is enough to make a significant difference in people's lives. Um, the other key thing to know about these, um, those people without electricity is that they're actually often in places at the ends of the earth where there's no or little infrastructure. Um, they, do not, they do not have paved roads. Uh, these are people who are off the electric grid, of course, they don't have paved roads. Um, they are starting, especially in Africa, they're starting to get internet through mobile data. Um, but even to charge their cell phones, they have to go to the nearest, like, uh, medium-sized town that actually has batteries. So.